Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this month of January 3rd, Hallelujah, Tuesday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord protect us. Let us lift our hand and give God the glory. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for the good sleep you give us last night. Let us thank Him, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. This morning, with good health, happiness, He who woke us up for His grace and mercy, let us lift our hand and thank Him, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This morning also, miraculously, wonderfully, awesomely, our Lord who is leading us, let us thank Him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For great is your grace upon us. Great is your mercy upon us. Hallelujah. Every morning, Father, for the new, new things you are doing in our life. Thank you. Father, for renewing your grace upon us. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we have not fallen because of your grace, because of your love. Father, this morning we tell you thank you. Father, we offer sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving unto thee. Father, we worship you for bringing us so far. Father, thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. Verse number 8. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you who saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Hallelujah. Let us all pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for this blessed morning, thank you for blessing us last morning. Thank you for giving us good sleep last night. Father, thank you for the wonderful morning you gave us. Thank you. Father, with good health for waking us up. Thank you. Abba, Father, this morning, together to glorify our Lord, to praise you for the opportunity. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this morning, let the sick be healed. Every condition of sickness this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave them. Complete healing, deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be so. Let there be a complete deliverance. Those who are suffering from skin allergy, where they feel itching all over their body. You who have the authority over heaven and earth in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be healed. Let them be delivered. Lord Jesus, a mighty hand of thy healing for laying it upon them. Thank you, Lord. Father, those who are suffering from psoriasis, Father, and anything related to such kind of sickness, Father, this morning, lay your hand upon them and heal them, Daddy. Father, thank you. Also, Father, we pray for those who are suffering from asthma. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Every cancer patient, be healed in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, every cancer cell be void and nullified. Lord Jesus, with good health, with healing, everyone who is hearing this voice today, anyone who is cancer, suffering from it, Father, let them be delivered. Hallelujah. Let them enjoy your perfect health, O oh Father. Let their health be restored back, Lord Jesus. Father, let them let their health be renewed back completely. And we thank you for the great thing you are doing in the midst of everyone who is suffering from cancer. Hallelujah. Also, Father, this morning we pray for those who don't have peace in the families. Father, Lord Jesus, Lord, Father, we pray that pour your peace upon them. Let their family life be renewed back. Let their family life be full of happiness and joy and peace, Lord Jesus. Let them know and enjoy the presence and the peace of my Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we pray. I rebuke every spirit that brings this unity in the families in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Father. Also, we pray for those whose mind was greatly disturbed in the last two days, Lord Jesus, not knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, feeling so helpless and useless, O oh, Father. Lord Jesus, we give them into thy hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we give their lives into thy hands. Father, let thy peace, O oh, Father, rest upon them, we pray in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, O oh Father. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our prayer, O oh Father. Thank you for your name that is mighty above all other names, Lord Jesus. Father, thank you for delivering all those who are financially broke, Lord Jesus. Father, everyone who is related to education. Father, let them see thy work, O oh Father. Let thy glory be revealed, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Also, Father, we give all our meetings into thy hands. Father, thank you for your works that are being revealed. Thank you for preparing your people, Lord. We give you all the glory. You who sacrifice your life for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the peace, the joy, and the abundance of the Lord increase in your life in abundance, I pray. Now let us further continue. Yesterday we studied about our first decision of the new year that we are going to take, which was me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Today, hallelujah, we are going to read from the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse number 2. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that he may run who reads it. Verse number 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. In every new year, majority of the people with great expectation wait for the promises that are declared in the new year. Majority of the believers wait for it. Hallelujah! It is a good thing, yes. Hallelujah. Not one promise, but many promises we get in the new year spoken by the Lord. Hallelujah. Even in this last new year also, how much promises the Holy Spirit spoke to us. All these we heard. We were very happy over there that time. We greatly rejoiced after hearing it. But then, dear ones, in many of our lives, the promises that are heard does not become fulfilled. The reason for it, there are two things. The word, the promise that we heard, many of them literally forget it over there only. They don't remember about it. They don't think about it. They don't pray for it. They don't wait for it. That kind of a lifestyle is there in most of the people's lifestyle. That is why mainly this does not happen in our life. The promise is spoken by God. That is why in the book of Habakkuk it says, The second decision in your life, the visions that God has given to you, the promises that the Lord has given to you probably can be through a man of God. Probably you are sitting in the midst of a meeting and you got it. Or probably you received it when you prayed. And in a manner that you can see it, write it boldly and stick it where you can see very clearly. In a manner you can always see, keep it ready. It is, it is written over here. Then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. So those who have got the vision, the promise from God, you should write it down. It should not be just in our mind, for there is a limit for our mind to remember. But then it has to come out of our mind. Only if it comes out from our mind. Yes, it is in the spiritual realm. And when does it come to a physical realm? When we write it down. So write the vision and make it plain on tablets. Hallelujah. In between, in between to read it, we should keep it somewhere where we can read it. In a manner that we can always see it, we should keep it in that position. And when we do that, what we have written, we can read it. In this year of 2023, what you have said you will do, or many things, what you have planned and decided, God will do it for you. But what happens? We heard, we forgot. Then we don't remember and we don't pray for it and we don't wait for it. But let your 2023 not be like that. The promise that you heard, write it down. 2023, the Lord said to the church, an year of outpouring, a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Inside of that, your children will prophesy. So write it down. My children in this year of 2023 will prophesy. My young men in this year of 2023 will see visions. My young men, they will dream dreams. Even those who are at your home, maid servants, those who are working along with you, what will God do? He will pour his anointing upon them. This in faith, write it on your wall in a manner that you can read and then pray for it 
see it, proclaim it. That is what it says. There is a time for the promise to happen, but it will surely come. It will surely come. The time does not go wrong. Even if it delays, it will come. It will surely come. With that confidence, write it down. We said yesterday, hallelujah, we talked about prayer, we talked about medication, we talked about going to church. You have taken a decision and in this also take a decision. Write it down. You don't have to call anyone else for that. Write it on a big paper. Write it in a bold way and stick it on a wall. Or if you can print it, print it and put it on your wall and say in 2023, this will happen in belief. I write it down and I hallelujah, pray upon it. Father, with these words, thank you for blessing us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our children prophesy. Our young men shall see visions. Our old men shall dream dreams. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will grow. We will increase. We will multiply and we will be highly favored. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.